All right, guys, so what are three things that you can do to make yourself feel more attractive? Um, if this is your first time visiting the channel, then welcome. My name is Danny or Daniel, however you feel most comfortable <laughs> saying my name, that is totally fine. Um, and essentially, I work with individuals, with couples that are struggling with self-esteem um, and love in their life. So one of the questions that I get asked all the time is, how do I feel more attractive? What can I do? How can I, you know, attract that right person or re-attract my partner or keep the spark alive and all of those types of things? And I wanted to break this down into uh, two short-term things that you can do, right? Things that you can do immediately right now and one long-term. So let's go with the first two, which is the short-term. The first one is self-care. Guys, self-care is so important. Um, and obviously, as you know, and being part of the queer community, um, aesthetic and the way you look is something that is prioritized. Um, is it something that I necessarily agree needs to be like top three? No, not necessarily. But at the end of the day, we have to accept the truth and the reality of the situation. And that is a priority within the community. And it's not that there's anything wrong with that, because at the end of the day, it does make you feel good. Um, and, you know, who doesn't want to be checked out or looked at or complimented and all of those things? But it's when you start to attach your self-worth and your self-esteem to how you look. That is where the problem lies. So when I talk about self-care, I'm just talking about things that genuinely make you feel good. So maybe that's going and getting a haircut. Um, maybe that's shaving, cleaning up your beard, getting your eyebrows done, maybe going and buying um, a new outfit, tanning, shit, even showering. <laughs> Let's be real, right? There are so many times that, you know, I'll be working and I'm, I'm, you know, super busy throughout the week. I'm filming content. I'm working with clients. I'm having coaching sessions. I'm creating new trainings. And then I get up and I look in the mirror and I'm like, Ugh! oh my God, like I haven't actually done anything for quite some time. You know, my beard has grown out. I have a unibrow. It's just, it's not cute. So when you invest that 30 minutes, maybe that hour into kind of cleaning yourself back up, you feel good. You feel better. And you even look at yourself and you say, damn, I almost forgot how attractive I am or I can be. So just general self-care is incredibly important. Number two, find yourself some friends that are going to be willing to hype you up. And maybe you already have a group of friends that do that for you. Um, and if you don't, then, you know, getting yourself out there and, and connecting with people and building relationships because having a hype person or hype people is the best thing for your self-esteem and your self-confidence. Somebody who's going to tell you that you look amazing, even when you don't feel like you look amazing. Somebody who's going to remind you and reality check you and, and tell you like, hey, you're being super hard on yourself. You need to stop that right now. And you may think that that's not going to make a big difference, but realistically it does. It makes a huge difference to have that person who's going to support you in that way and remind you that you are attractive, that you do have something to offer, that, you know, who you are is good enough and that you are attractive and that you do bring something to the table. But again, sometimes we forget those things. Sometimes we just kind of get so lost in our little bubble and our world that we forget to take that moment to take a step back and to allow space for ourselves to compliment ourselves or to reflect on our good qualities um, and, and things that make us who we are, that have attracted the people in our lives for a reason. So again, get yourself some friends that are going to hype you up and that are going to make you feel good. Now, the long-term one is taking some time to think about your purpose, right? Um, what are you doing right now? 
Are you satisfied with your life? Are you fulfilled in what you're doing? Um, and I know this is a pretty loaded question. And to be honest with you, a lot of people don't really know. There's a lot of things that are happening um, externally in the world that contribute to that feeling of being stuck or lost or not really knowing what you want to do. So first and foremost, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with you. That doesn't mean that you're broken. That doesn't mean that you are never going to figure it out. It's just the reality of your situation right now. But it's important to invest conscious thought into what makes you happy, what you find fulfilling. And again, if you don't know, that's okay, but I highly recommend taking some time to try and figure that out because a big part of self-esteem and self-confidence is feeling like you serve a purpose, like feeling like you contribute to, to your own personal life, to the people around you in a meaningful and valuable way. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to, you know, create this entire facade of a life and have the fancy cars and the fancy houses and all of those things. I mean, if that's what you want, by all means, that's fantastic. That's great. I think we all want that to a certain degree. But what is it on a foundational level that, that feeds your soul? And if you've lost sight of that, if you haven't given it time, if you haven't really thought about it ever or in a while, it's time to reinvest that time. It's not too late. It doesn't mean that the train is already out of the station and gone and you've missed your opportunity because only you have the ability to make that decision. You are the one that is in control of that. And when you figure out what it is that you want to do, your confidence goes through the freaking roof. Your self-esteem goes through the roof. And again, that doesn't mean that you need that in order to attract the right people into your life or that romantic partner that you've always wanted. But in the long run, it is incredibly beneficial and helpful because it keeps you um, focused. It keeps you motivated. It keeps you inspired, which in turn affects your mood and your perception and how you view the world and how you navigate the world. So again, the two short-term ones um, is going to be just general self-care, super important, something that I highly recommend everybody does. Create a routine for yourself where you kind of, you know, clean yourself up once a week. Um, I mean, fully clean yourself up. That doesn't mean just shower once a week, guys. Please shower every single day. That's just my own personal preference. Um, <laughs> and number two right, in the short term is finding yourself some hype friends, some people that are going to make you feel good, some people that are going to kind of contribute to your to your self-confidence in a positive way. And the long-term one here is to take some time to think about your purpose. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you found these recommendations and these tips to be useful to you. Um, if you have questions, feel free to reach out. Make sure you leave a comment ask me anything. Um, I'm pretty much an open book. I appreciate the dialogue back and forth. And again, if you enjoy the content, if you like the channel, if you like what I'm talking about, please make sure you like and subscribe. I appreciate it. It really helps to continue to create content like this and support you and, and answer questions that you may have. If you feel like you need support, if you feel like you need help, I will provide you with the link down below if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session. I usually always recommend that, but it is completely up to you. Again, my name is Danny. I hope you're having an incredible day. I hope you're staying happy and healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.